Here's the question. How long is gonna take me to learn how to wheelie using no hands? I already know how to wheelie. I learned years ago keeping one foot on the ground and applying weird techniques. And after a while I started using the rear brake and I got pretty confident. During a wheelie, the rear brake helps you control the bike and the speed. Moreover, it allows you to not fall on your back. <laughs> but wheeling with no hands? So the first thing I want to try to learn is to wheelie using a single hand. In the beginning, I was pretty scared, and as soon as I took my hand off, I stopped pedaling. Then after trying for a few minutes, I got used to the movement and I started to learn how to find the balance using a single hand. Oh my god! I get it. The main difference between a normal wheelie and a one-hand wheelie is the positioning of your body. In a normal wheelie, I throw all my weight to the back and I feel confident doing that because I always can rely on the rear brake in case I'm about to fall on my back. In a one-hand wheelie, I still can rely on the rear brake but it's much harder to use. So I just have to find the perfect balance with my body and try to wheelie without using the brake. In a no-hands wheelie, I can't rely on the rear brake so I think I just have to hope. I need to practice a lot and I need a better surface. Here's not working. Tonight, we're gonna be there. At the end of the day, after a lot of practice, practice and practice, I felt that I finally got really confident wheeling with a single hand. So I thought that I was ready to take off the other one. Hold this place for us. Let's do it. I was confident, hopeful, and excited, and I started by wheeling with a single hand. But I immediately felt that something was wrong. I got pretty confident wheeling with a single hand, but I just realized two things. I still pulled the bar too much with my left hand. My goal is leaving the bar with both hands, so I should find a better balance with my body. And the second thing, I think I should do this on an uphill road, like this one. Because after a few seconds on a plane surface, I start getting speed, and the bike gets really, really hard to control. So probably I rented this place for absolutely nothing. But I mean, since we're here, let's try. Oh yeah. I immediately realized that this is scary and it feels extremely unnatural. But beside that, I knew that there was something else. So first I need to learn how to wheelie without pulling the bar. Because as soon as I take my hands off, this happens. I feel like here again, too much speed, and then I need to pull the bar with my arms. Maybe I need to be more vertical, but I'm not sure about that. It's too hard. I think it is impossible for me here. Let's go try somewhere else. So I tried on an uphill road, but nothing really changed. It was just a little bit better. I have a big problem with my saddle. Basically this, too flat, and every time I wheelie, I slide. I felt like I had to hold the bar with my left hand, just to prevent my body to slide on the saddle and falling off the bike. Then I checked on YouTube a few guys that made it, and I saw this. I knew that there was something. If you slide while you're wheeling, you have to pull the bar just to stay there. But if your saddle is like this, your body won't slide. I'm gonna try. I am extremely excited. I simply hope these are not just excuses. I'm gonna change the inclination of the saddle. <laughs> All right, this is the best I can get. It is not much different, but I really hope it's gonna be enough. I'm so excited. Let's try. It's weird, but it's better. Let's go try on an uphill road. In the beginning, I was obviously pretty scared. Starting is always the hardest part. As soon as I take my hands off, I stop pedaling. I mean, it's pretty normal, but I have to trick my brain to not do that. Right now I'm barely touching the bars. That's great. Yes! Yes! Maybe you're thinking that I get excited for nothing. And you're probably right. Almost there, almost there. But I recently learned that if you put together a few small improvements, you get a big progress. Woo now my only problem was that the handlebar kept rotating to the right making me lose balance.
So I used my crafting skills to add weight to the left side. <laughs> my goal was to really win no hands for 5 seconds straight. And slowly, I was getting close. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> there were kids and people in church. I had to be quiet. But I'm so happy right now. I wanna try again. Yes! I cannot believe that I actually did it. Especially because wheeling for 5 seconds with no hands. It really seemed impossible until the day before. At this point the sun was going down and the next day I had to come back to London. I came back to Italy just to use this beast. Shout out to my father, that's his bike. And he was probably gonna kill me if I made a scratch on it. But anyways, it feels good. I love making these videos guys. I will never stop. Every single person told me that I was insane. Simply because they thought that this was not possible. And to be honest, they thought the same. Obviously I wanna get better at it. I wanna try at least 10 seconds. Alright, see you guys.